Hitting North America in 1986, the Sega Master System was the direct competition to Nintendo's entertainment system. While it didn't share the same success, that's not to say there aren't amazing games on the console. Today we are looking at some of the most expensive games in the Master System library, so if you want these, you better bring the big dough. These games are not just in North America, but Japan and PAL regions. These games are extremely rare due to different labels, short production life, or are just very hard to come by. Whatever the case may be, if you have these games in your collection, you are sitting on a small fortune. Now the prices I'm including in this list are just the average prices for ungraded games. I'm not including water graded games that easily reach thousands and thousands of dollars. These prices are the ones you'd find on eBay or at a gaming convention. But before we get into this list, make sure you hit that sub button to watch future gaming lists and much more Sega Master System content on this channel. With that being said, let's get into the 10 most expensive Sega Master System games. Kicking off our list is Super Monaco GP, a racing game that allows you to race other cars around the famous Monaco Grand Prix course. You first must qualify for a position on the grid by driving around a shortened version of the course on your own. The faster you drive, the higher position you start in the race. Now the actual race has you competing against other skilled drivers and as well as trying to beat them, you must get through checkpoints within a time limit or the race is over. You better savor those races though because this will cost you around $160. Asterix and the Great Rescue was first released on the Genesis, but a port followed in 1994 to the Sega Master System. It follows the same story but offers unique levels and gameplay mechanics. Each level consists of six smaller stages, with the final stage being a boss fight. During the levels, players can switch between Asterix and Obelix at any time. Both friends have slightly different abilities. Asterix moves faster and can jump higher and is the only one who can crouch and get into crawl spaces. Obelix can push heavy objects out of the way, has a much more powerful punch than Asterix, and can jump on top of enemies to destroy them or just bounce off them. If you're looking to own this game, you better be willing to pay around $185. Our very first variant on the list. Typically, Master System games have a red label on the cart, but a few of them have a blue label, which is much more rare. This is the case for a version of Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. Alex Kidd was once the face of Sega and starred in a few games on the Master System. One of those games is Alex Kidd in Shinobi World, which sees Alex taking on ninjas and thugs in the world of Shinobi. The main antagonist, the Dark Ninja, was banished over 10,000 years ago and has returned to rule Miracle World. He also takes young Alex's girlfriend and plans to use her as a sacrifice. To help Alex defeat the Dark Ninja and rescue his girlfriend, a god enters Alex's body, causing Alex to become a ninja master. This ninja adventure for Alex Kid will cost you around $195 simply because of the blue label. Do you hate to eat your veggies? Well, I have a game for you, if you can afford it. The Earth is threatened by mutant plant life and their brainwashed human followers. Only one force can stop the evil vegetables from taking root. Power Strike, the most versatile jet fighter in the world. Blast the enemy in the air and on the ground and save the planet from the creeping green menace. Power Strike is notable as it was the first mail order only Master System title and is the only Power Strike to be released in the United States. Want to add this to your collection? 
well, you better have around $240 in hand. This is one of the games based on the Dick Tracy movie. You are Dick Tracy, a police detective who enjoys a peaceful life with his wife. But his wife's father is murdered by a local gangster named Big Boy Caprice, and Dick Tracy is now out for revenge. The game doesn't follow the exact plot of the movie, but simply lets Dick Tracy fight his way through several levels as he faces his arch enemy. The gameplay is a combination of platform shooting and beat em up action and will cost you around $240 to own. Now this next game is expensive because of another blue variant, but you won't be able to tell unless you crack open that box and look at the cartridge yourself. OutRun is a fun arcade racer, but it comes in at number 5 on this list because some versions of it came with a blue label on the cartridge instead of the typical red. That's it, there's no other reason for it being expensive, and it's the same great game as the other label. So do yourself a favor and just play the cheaper version that goes for around $20 instead of $250. Zelda clone? What? No, not on the Master System. Golden Axe Warrior may share a lot of similarities with The Legend of Zelda on the NES, but it's an adventure that's very much worth playing through. Golden Axe Warrior is actually a spin-off of the beat-em-up series Golden Axe to add intrigue. The game plays quite well and there's a ton of fun to be had, but at a price. You're looking at spending around $285 to add this gem to your collection. A game for both the young and the old, with one exception. You need to be rich to buy this game. With Mahjong only released in Japan, it's a bit of a rare title and can be hard to come by. Because of this, this simple tile puzzle game is now worth around $600. Good luck finding two matching Mahjongs for your Master System collection. Sonic the Hedgehog was not only the best mascot of Sega, but he was featured in an entirely different adventure on the Sega Master System. Those that love the Genesis version should look at this version for the Master System as it features the same story, but completely different levels. It's a wonderful game that is overshadowed by the Genesis version. It's worth a playthrough, but perhaps through emulation though, as the physical version is worth around $700. Talk about a real heavyweight. James Buster Douglas Knockout Boxing is the most expensive Sega Master System game coming in at around $1,300. The player is cast as James Douglas to go through a series of boxing matches against different opponents to win the championship title. The boxers are shown from the side and the player can move left or right in the ring to avoid punches. The game is almost identical to George Foreman's KO boxing with some slight modifications. The biggest being James Buster Douglas as the title character. So there you have it, those were 10 of the most expensive Sega Master System games that you can own. Which one of them do you have in your collection? Or which one of them do you want in your collection? 
Me personally, I do have Golden Axe Warrior, but I'm missing just about everything else on this list. Let me know in the comments below which ones you own or which ones you want. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to watch more gaming countdowns and Sega Master System content. Thanks for watching.